Where did we just end up? Well, I can't talk right now, but... Hey, that's... Did we make it? Okay, guys, sneak in. Look at this. This area is being surveillance by video. We need to set up camp. I don't think we should set up camp in the caves, because that's where the bandits set up camp. Yeah, I think yeah, it's kind of dangerous right. around here. All right, so okay. I am convinced I one of you guys is the traitor. You know what? I'm done. Oh, oh my gosh, Mama's leaving. We're not, I'm gonna I go promise. back this way. No, you can't go that way. I don't want to be tracked by bandits. No, don't, don't leave. Give me the wishing stone tie. I need to see it. I need no. to see it. Yes. Hey, I've, got about, I've got information about it. I've got information about it from the bandits. You guys are Everybody's no, leaving me. Jordan went this way. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. <laughs> All right. <gasps> Snake's close. I'm gonna go find Snake. Okay, that's it, I'm done. I don't know who I can trust anymore, guys. I'm going off by myself and I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna return back to camp, but I just, I can't be around him because I don't know who I can trust anymore. I feel like I tell Ty something and then he spills it to someone else and I feel like I could trust Jordan, but then like she does something that acts really suspicious. So I'm just gonna go off in the woods and I can't stay in the RV anymore. I, I can't hide, I can't run from the bandits. I have to do this by myself. I have no idea where I'm at too. Like, oh my gosh. I think I'm just gonna set up camp over here. There's like a little clearing. There's a bunch of trees over here. I don't know. This is kind of spooky because I know like, even though the bandits are very scary, I don't know what this place is like at night and there might be bears. I didn't bring anything. I was not smart. I did not bring any food. I did not bring any supplies. I didn't bring any water. I don't even have my phone. The only thing I have with me is this watch. Like I left everything behind. So <sighs> wish me luck. I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take some of these sticks and build a shelter. And then I absolutely need to get a fire started. I don't know how to build a fire, you guys. I've never, I don't know if I've ever built a fire from just the woods. I'm gonna set you down over here. I'm gonna build a shelter up against this tree. I've never done this before either, but I, I think it, I'm just gonna build like a leaning shelter using these sticks and just hope that it's good enough. And maybe I can use some branches. Also, another thing I'm scared about is getting ticks. I've never, knock on wood, <laughs> I've never gotten a tick before, so I don't really know what it's like, but I don't want to know what it's like. Uh, I wish I was more prepared. You know what, maybe I should move, should I move this? No. I'm gonna build a shelter over here. All right, I'll be back. Oh my gosh, guys, I am being attacked by flies. I think they're horse flies, but they are so annoying. I can't, I'm like losing my marbles. I cannot handle them. Oh my, you guys can probably hear them. They're so obnoxious. Anyways, ah, go away. I found, I like, I built this hut right here. I found enough sticks to build it. This is the rough outline of it. Not too shabby. And I am going to be staying on the inside of it, but um, in order to complete it, I need to put like leaves on it, make it like, and also in case it rains, cause it has rained here before. Um, so I'm gonna put like some brush on it to cover it up a little bit and also camouflage because if anyone comes out here, they won't be able to see me as well if my sticks are covered, you know? So let's go do that real quick. Okay, my shelter is almost done. We've made some good progress. I've covered it with leaves, so it's mostly hidden. You can't really tell. That took a lot of work though, guys. Like, honestly, that was, was a lot of my strength and energy. Um, but this is what the inside looks like. I think I'll be okay to stay in here for at least one night. And then I'm gonna assess the situation as to whether I wanna go back to camp or keep living by myself. Oh my gosh, there's so many bugs. Oh my gosh, it's on the lens. If you guys saw that, wow. But now I gotta start building a campfire. So I'm gonna grab some stones. I'm gonna build away from my shelter just because I don't want Smokey Smokey to get in my, um, my little shack. So I'm gonna start building a fire over here. I'll place you on the lock. I'm gonna just make a circle around this area right over here. But guys, this is very spooky because I don't know if I'm gonna like run into snakes or anything. This was not a bright move of me. 
But I'm also like sweating. There's no showers out here. I kinda hope it rains, but also kinda hope it doesn't rain because then I'm gonna be soaking. Oh my gosh! Ew, look at this. Oh my gosh, that was absolutely disgusting. What is that? What is that? Ew! 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 Ew, there's like maggots everywhere. Ew, this is so gross. Okay, well, I mostly built my fire. Let me show you. I put these stones here while I was also working on my tent. This wasn't all done just right now, but. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my tent because I am freaked out about the little maggots. That was the grossest thing I've ever seen. Going back to what I was saying earlier about the bandits. So, because I was captured, I had the pleasure of kind of being the spy, the, the captive spy, I guess you could say. There's so many bugs, I have to keep walking. I'm just gonna be walking on the trail and then I'll come back to my hut. But anyways, as the captive spy, I've learned a lot of things. So first of all, I know that there is a traitor among us. I know for a fact there's someone. Whether it's in our family, whether it's outside of our family, what if it's one of you guys? I have no idea. Someone that knows us is definitely a traitor. And I mean, to me, it would make the most sense that it would be someone in our family because they know the most about us. And if I had to place any bets, I'd have to place my bets on David. Now, the reason why I think it's David is because when I was held captive at the Bandits Town, as you guys saw, um, I had a blindfold on for most of the time. So I couldn't really see anything during the day. And at night, they let me take the blindfold off. And it was very dark, but I was able to see the surroundings around me. Like, I, I was able to see the rooms I was in. And like, the ceilings were caved in, and it was super old, worn down, really creepy at night. But one day, my captor, which I don't know which bandit it was that captured me, but um, he was on... Um, uh, the phone with what I assume is David because I heard David's voice or at least someone that sounds like David. It sounded like my dad on the phone. I think David is the traitor because I heard David's voice. Um, that's why I can't really trust David is because I just don't know. There's a lot of clues going against him. And then when we were at the bandits camp, like he went into Doc's house and I don't know if he talked with Doc. I was in a different cabin, um, but it was very suspicious and also, Ty like, makes me a little bit suspicious too. I don't know if it's like, if there's two traitors, more than one traitor. I didn't even think about that before. Wait, what if there's two traitors? There could be two traitors. Anyways, Ty is also on my radar because every time we find a new clue, like the bottle or the, the stone, the wishing stone, like he has to hold on to it. He won't let anyone else hold it. And that's also very suspicious because if he's working for himself or with the bandits, he wouldn't want anyone else have it. So I think those guys are on my top radar out of everyone in the family, but I'm still like very suspicious of everyone. Um, but anyways, uh, something I found out at the bandits town was, as you guys know, I told the camera this a little bit when I was around everyone, but there's way more bandits than we think of there are. Like there is a whole town of bandits and they pick up and move all the time. And they're mostly only at their camp at nighttime. Like during the daytime, they're, they're moving, like they're going out and doing stuff. And I have no idea what they're doing. Maybe they're finding the treasure, maybe something else. Um, but they're going around and they're not really at base as much. I mean, there's some bandits at base, but not as much. While there's a lot of bandits that we know of, there's also girl bandits. And from what I heard, the girl bandits are mean. Like they are way, way more mean than the boy bandits. And also I think the lead band of them all is a lady. I don't know their names. I managed to see one though, and she had black hair. So the only feature I know is that she has black hair and it's a lady, but there's there's lady bandits and boy bandits. And I know none of my family have seen any of the girl bandits yet, but I just wanna, I, I know for myself that they're out there, so I can't trust anyone now. Um, so anyone that looks remotely like a bandit or is wearing like cowboy clothes, like I'm running away from. I heard, what's that? I thought I heard something, guys. I don't know. I don't know, I can't, I can't tell if there's someone following me. I can't tell if it's someone in my family or if it's a bandit. Okay, we gotta keep our voices down more. Anyways, I think I wanna come up with a plan though because as you know, Ty has the wishing stone and 
I don't think Ty should have the wishing stone. If anyone, I should have it because I was the one at the bandits camp. I know for a fact, you guys should know that I am not the traitor. Why would I be at the bandits camp captured with a blindfold over my eyes if I was the traitor? Like that wouldn't make any sense. So I know that I could be the one that's gonna be the most trustworthy for the wishing stone, but I don't know about anyone else. I gotta start making a fire. Here, I'm gonna grab some sticks. Okay guys, I'm at my little campfire. I don't know how to make a fire. What I've seen on shows is you just like kind of rub this together. <laughs> I know from Minecraft you need flint and steel, but like I don't know what that looks like in real life. So I just have sticks. And I'm gonna like try to rub them really fast to see if I can spark anything. Because if you get enough friction together, I feel like it would start something. So anyways. Also, another thing is, I wanna, I know I wanna be out here by myself. I don't know how long I'm gonna be staying out in the woods by myself, but I know I have to be out here and collect my thoughts and think of all the facts that I have. And I, but I want to go back sneakily. Like, I don't want them to know I'm coming back. I wanna come back and take the wishing stone. And then also, another thing is, I need that map. I don't know where it went when we all scattered, but someone took the map. And it's not me, like, and I am the map interpreter. So I need to get the map back because there was way more on that map that revealed about other treasures and spots that we need to go to that I think the bandits are after. And so if we can beat them to it first before the trader gets there and works with the bandit to the treasure, then I think, I think we'll be in the lead and we'll be winning. So this is not working. Maybe it's a stone. Do you like rub it with a stone? I don't know. So anyway, that's my plan so far, my plan of action. Um, oh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, oh my gosh, none of this is working. I'm walking, the bugs are showing me again. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep here tonight. <gasps> Guys, look. Look in the trail. There's some prints, they look like hoof prints. What are these? Do you think that could be like horse hooves? I know some of the bandits ride on horses, so that could that could very well be a horse hoof. And that means the bandits could have been here. Wait, what if where I'm at right now is part of the treasure map? <sighs> Man, I wish I would have taken a picture of it on my phone. I don't have my phone with me right now, but I wish I would have taken a picture of the treasure map on my phone because then maybe I would be able to go off and find it by myself and I have a copy. Okay, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe what I should do, guys, and I need you guys to comment down this comment this down below if you think it's a good plan. But I, maybe what I should do is to ensure the safety of the treasure and the map. I think I should take a picture of the map on my phone and then burn the map or bury it or destroy it so that no one else can have it because that map is a dangerous tool to have. It is is it's like is super nice. So I don't want anyone else to come into contact with it if they have the wrong intentions and the wrong power. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna take the map and destroy it or bury it or get rid of it and have it, a copy of it on my phone. Um, but yeah, maybe there's like secret messages on the map. I didn't even think about that. There might be secret messages like hidden in like the clear ink. There's a lot of things I need to do before I come back into the woods. I don't know, I kind of don't like staying in the woods by myself. Like, I feel like I need someone from my family to come with me, but I don't know who I could trust the most. Like, maybe Jordan, maybe Jake, maybe my mom out of everyone. I don't know, it's just too suspicious though. So, it's hard because no one else was with me when I was at the bandits camp. So I, I don't know what they've been up to while I've been gone, so. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure out a plan. But anyways, some more things I've learned at the bandits camp. They found another treasure. And the reason why I know this is because while I was just chilling at the bandits camp in the creepy hidden room, they found another treasure. It was not the one on the treasure map. They actually stumbled upon this treasure by accident. But this treasure is really powerful. And I've heard them, I don't know what exactly the treasure is. I just heard them say that they're gonna use it against us and that they're after the treasure map treasure next. 
So I don't know how they found the hidden one or where they found it, but they found a, another treasure. So we need to get that one away from them as well while finding the new treasure. It's just a mess. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know. I have so much information that I feel like I can't even reveal on camera because I don't know if someone in the audience is a traitor as well. <sighs> Maybe also comment down below saying you are not the traitor if you are absolutely not the traitor. If I can trust you, you need to tell me so I know if I could say more things to the camera because right now I feel like I can't say anything. Okay, it's kind of getting, it's kind of getting later in the day. You guys can't really tell, it looks bright outside, but when it gets like later in the day, it gets dark and you can't really tell on camera. I'm not gonna go to bed yet, but I'm gonna continue working on my shelter over here. I'm gonna continue working on this shelter and find some food. Um, and then I'm gonna come back for another update, but not in this video. So keep an eye out guys Let me know any clues that you find. But yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go build my shelter